Internships can be great and they can also be overrated, to be honest, depending on where you go. You have to decide what you want to get out of the internship. If it is an internship in which you want to make contacts, then you probably need to go, you know, ESPN, Fox Sports, Big Ten Network, if there becomes an SEC network, which I'm sure there will at some point. Some place like that can, can help you in order to get, you know, make some contacts. The path that I chose, partly out of necessity, partly out of wanting to stay in Tuscaloosa for the summer, was that uh, um, I went to work at Channel 33. At the time, everything was based here rather than the Birmingham split or whatever they do now. And I went to work there, and within four weeks, I was on the air. Now, it was a small role, it was just reporting, putting together, you know, news and feature stories and stuff like that, but you're on the air. That's not happening at ESPN. You know, so you sort of have to first define what you want from the internship. I think both are good as long as you're not disappointed relative to your expectations. Um, if you have the opportunity to do one of each, that's probably really good. Do one where you can establish some contacts, see how they do it, you know, at a network level um, or at a big station level. I mean, there are some great stations in Birmingham who, you know, do tremendous work. Um, and you can learn how, how it operates there or make contacts at a network level. And then if you can find a place that will let you get on the air, get on the air. There is no substitute for repetitions. You can look in the mirror, you can use that recorder, and you should do all of those things. You should, you know, you should put the tape recorder on you and do it over and over and over. You should, but it won't be a substitute for the live reps. You just, there's just something you have to go through. I, I, I can't even explain it. I wish I could, but there's just something different about being on the air every day, working on deadline, right? Getting it done, delivering in a comfortable manner and doing it again and again and again and again. So, and, and don't misunderstand, don't, I said don't let them, and I, I think there are fewer networks and network executives and, and local news directors who view women in that way. Now, I think that's changing dramatically. I'm just saying that if you encounter that, don't allow it to happen if you do. I don't think you're going to see as much of it as perhaps you would have um, you know, 20 years ago, or even the woman who really encouraged me to go to ESPN, who is also an alumnus of Alabama. I stumbled across her name in Alumni Magazine, a woman named Andrea Kirby. And for a while, she was the talent coach for ESPN. And I was in Flint, and I was trying to get out, looking at these different jobs and so forth. And, and my wife said, you know, well, where do you want to go? I said, we, she's, I had a chance at Columbus, Ohio, and in Milwaukee, and a couple places. And she said, we don't want to live there forever. It's not, I said, I want to go to ESPN. I said, but I think I have to get to Boston or Atlanta or Chicago or someplace like that before they'll notice. And, um, and so I stumbled across Andrea, and I relayed that same type of message to her. And I'd sent her my tape, and she'd looked at it, and she goes, you have got this all wrong. And I said, why? She said, if you wind up, now remember, this was, you know, almost 20 years ago. So if you wind up in Atlanta or Chicago or Boston or L.A., she said, you will never work at ESPN. I said, why not? She said, you won't take the pay cut. You know, and so I said that to say, find somebody who kind of knows how it works. Because Jim was a great resource to me, but I think somebody who's out there in the business right now can give you a, a better feel. Because whether it's a story I relayed about not pushing to do Sports Center internally, or this, this perception that I had to make it to a certain level before ESPN would notice, in some ways I was kind of, you know, like you're in the hotel room, the lights out, and you're trying to find the light switch, you know, and so find somebody, you know, be aggressive in finding that person who can kind of help shepherd you along as long as it's within your vision and, and your goals and your dreams of what you would like to do.